Welcome! In this video, I will show how you can quickly create small multiple grids in an R script in R Studio using Facet Wrap and Facet Grid from the ggplot2 package. I will take a line diagram and split it into mini line diagrams based upon the subject. The first version will show the charts in columns using Facet Wrap the second will show the charts in rows using Facet Grid. In R Studio, I have set up an R script and into the R script I have loaded the data. In the global environment, you can see the data frame is called Teachers and it consists of 78 observations and three variables. Let's have a look at the data if I click on Teachers. The data relates to the number of secondary school teachers whose main subject taught relates to STEM in Scotland in the UK. In the subject column, we have six unique subjects. In the year column, the years range from 2008 to 2020. The number column contains the number of teachers who mainly taught that subject in the relevant year. The data used in this project is the same as that used in a previous video whereby I showed how to create a line diagram with points using the ggplot2 package. Back in the R script, I have loaded the library ggplot2. I have also set up the code to create a standard line diagram. In the line diagram code, I have set up a diagram and called it grid. I have told Grid it is a plot by putting ggplot, then telling the plot to use the data which is in the teacher's data frame. Then I have said the x-axis should contain the years. Note that for this video I have set the year variable to be of type date. Then for the y-axis I would like the number of teachers and the number of teachers is in the number column. So I write Y equals number and I would like a line to appear for each subject. And to do that, I use group equals subject. To allow each subject line to be of a different colour, I put in colour equals subject. In the next row, I need to tell grid that lines should be drawn onto it. So onto the current grid code, I add geom line. Then onto that, I have added some labels to provide more context to the diagrams. I have then called grid to show the grid. If I run this code, the plot appears. And if I click zoom, you can see a larger version of the line diagram. Let's create the small multiples diagrams. I would like to split the line diagram such that each subject has its own mini line diagram using Facet Wrap. With Facet Wrap, plots are created and then these are wrapped like a ribbon across the screen. In the R script, I have copied the line diagram code and into that, all I need to do is insert one more line of code to create the grids. So after labels, I will insert a row and say that onto my diagram grid I would like to take the current grid and add on to that facet underscore wrap brackets and inside here I put tilde then subject because I would like to have a grid for each subject. If I now run this code, the diagrams appear in the plot section and if I click zoom to see a larger view of the diagrams, you can see that with Facet Wrap it has created my six diagrams and they are going in alphabetical order currently biology, chemistry, computing studies, and then wrapping back round to general science, mathematics and physics. All looks good. I though would like to make a few changes to this diagram. 
I feel the legend is not adding any additional information, so I will remove it. And currently, all the y-axis in the diagrams start at zero and go up to the same value. This means that, for instance, with general science, the line is way down at the bottom, and then with mathematics, given it has higher values, it's way up at the top. So it doesn't really allow for any better comparison of what is happening across the years. I would prefer each mini-diagram to start its own y-axis. As we have six subjects, I do like this current 3 by 2 layout of the grids, but I will show you how to change that such that you have two diagrams going across and three down. Back in the code. To remove the legend, all I do is go inside the code for geom line and add show dot legend equals false to allow the y-axis to be free format I go to the facet wrap line and after subjects I put a comma then I type in scales equals and inside double quote marks I type free underscore y and then to change my grid from being 3 by 2 to being 2 by 3, I come outside my double quote marks, put a comma, then put in call for the number of columns and say that it's going to equal 2. If I run my code again so that you can see the outcome of these small changes and then press zoom, you can see the output. My legend has disappeared. My grid is now 2 by 3 and the y-axis have been altered to be dependent upon each mini grid. This makes the trend across the years clearer for each subject. There is a lot more you can do with Facet Wrap, so please check out online documentation to find out more. I'll put a link to some resources in this video's description. Next, I will show you Facet Grid. With Facet Grid, plots are created in a grid format and the format to be used in this example is in rows. This means that the diagrams will effectively sit one beneath the other. Each diagram will relate to a subject taught. In the R script, I have again copied the line diagram code and into that, all I need to do is insert one line of code. So after labels, I say that for my diagram grid, I take my current grid and I add onto it facet underscore grid. And given that each plot should relate to subject, I put rows equals vars bracket subject as an alternative. Rather than putting rows equals var subject, you may see this written as subject, tilde, and then dot, or full stop. Both codes do the same function. I will put this back to rows. If I now run my code, the small multiple diagrams appear. And if I click zoom to see a larger version, you can see that each subject has its own plot. Again, I'd like to do some minor changes to this diagram. The legend is not adding any additional information, so I will remove that. And I will allow the y-axis start and finish to be dependent upon each subject. So back in the code, to remove the legend, the same as previously, I just put in the geom line section, I just type show dot legend equals false to change the y-axis again I come down to facet grid and after the closing bracket for subject I put a comma then I type scales equals and into side double quote marks I type free underscore y if I run the code again 
and press Zoom, you can see the revised diagrams. And again, by making these small changes, it makes the trend of the number of teachers clearer for each subject. In this example of Facet Grid, the grid is based on rows. Please note that Facet Grid can be based on columns, but in this example, given the number of years, the columns become very narrow and difficult to read, and the y-axis ranges from the small number of teachers teaching general science to the larger volume teaching mathematics. Therefore, the diagram is perhaps not very useful to an end user. There is a lot more that you can do with Frasic Grid, so please check out the online documentation and I will put a link to some more resources in this regard in this video's description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.